Hello and welcome back to the Flexographic Pills on Flexo.expert. During a recent advanced training course in Flexography, one of the students asked me an interesting question. With any one given analog roll having its own engraving specifications in screen count and volume and cell geometry, can I print different jobs with different plate screen counts? Well, the answer is very easy. Yes, of course, but don't expect the same printed results. You need to manage your plate calibration and dot gain compensation curves. You know, we know the relationship between ink quantity and print dot gain. Too much ink in analogs results in too high dot gain. But uh, each different uh, ruling on the plate with the same analogs will have the same print density in the solids. So every different screen count will have a different dot gain curve. What I'm showing here is an example with four different LPIs measured in CTV. So in order to output corrected printed values, we need to apply different dot gain compensation curves. In this example, the linear result of 100 LPI, 40 lines per centimeter, does not require any correction. Be careful now and see what happens to your tone values on plate. Let's consider the 50%. On a linear plate, there is no change, but when we apply dot gain compensation, it becomes 40, 30, 25% on plate. Sure, that's normal and obvious. It's the result of compensation, but what does it mean? It means that with a heavy dot gain compensation, the most critical areas in light mid-tones will be reproduced with a very narrow tonal range extension. With few tonal transitions, your printed results risk to be flat without contrast. So, in order to answer to the original question, yes, the same analog roll can print a higher screen count. But if you need to apply a very strong dot gain compensation for this and sacrifice the tonal range of the result, you'd better consider to invest in new analog rolls and reduce your ink volume. I hope this video pill was useful for you and don't forget you can take your basic training in flexography on flexo.training and if you need more advanced or customized training, or if you're thinking of calibrating your printing system for new quality challenges, you're welcome to contact me at any time. Ciao!